All right, just a few more deformers to talk about. For this next one, let's have a little bit of fun. I'm gonna take this brush menu and click that white dot to get rid of it. Go over here to my Z plugin, take this white dot, dock it over on the side. Now I can open up this text 3D and vector shapes. If you haven't watched the video on this, go back through this playlist and you can watch a little bit more information on these. But I'm gonna choose new text, we'll call it Ben Deformer. Go ahead and drag that out on our canvas, go into edit mode here, and let's play around with this a little bit. Now, if you turn on polyframe, you're gonna see we have adaptive turned on, which is gonna simplify our shapes. If you're using deformers, sometimes you want a little bit more geometry to kind of help these things along. So I'm gonna turn adaptive off and go ahead and just give it a few more vertices that are kind of e evenly distributed. So when it bends, it'll look a little bit nicer. So now that I have that, what we can do is we can hit W to go into gizmo mode. And just like the previous deformer videos, if you go into this gear, you're gonna have access to all your primitives and all of these deformers. So let's go ahead and go to our next one, which is bend curve, bend arc. So if we go ahead and choose bend arc, that's going to give us a bend arc. And you're gonna see we have a bunch of cones, just like the other deformers. We've got twist is the orange one, angle is the green one, radius is the white one, and it's on the X, Y, and Z axis. Now, because these letters are kind of thin, it's not giving us a whole lot of room in the Z directions. What I'm gonna do is go out of this deformer, go ahead and uh, delete that one. And if I go back into the text, we can either choose the extrusion amount, so we can make this bigger or smaller, or we can go to our gizmo and just scale this non-uniformly this way and that way. So if I go back up to the gear here, choose the bend arc, Let's start playing around with some of these options. So if I go right down the middle, I can choose twist and that'll twist it this way and that way, which in this case, since we don't have a bend applied, it'll just kind of rotate. If we go to angle, that's where we start bending this thing. So you're gonna see we're gonna, we can bend it to, if you hold down shift, that's gonna snap it to five degree increments. So that'll make it a little bit easier, but you can choose all the way down to 180 degrees. And you can also do angles X, you can do X, Y, and Z angles here. So you see if I drag it this way and this way, we're gonna get a little bit of an angle there. So if you want it straight down, just make sure that's at zero, let that go. And now we're wrapping around a complete circle. Now that we have the deformer applied, if we go back to twist, you're gonna see what it's doing is kind of twisting it inside this way or twisting it outside this way. So if you were fitting this to like a cone or maybe an inset shape here, like a button, you go ahead and twist those words to fit. So if you wanna demonstrate that, let's go back into the gear and we'll hit delete. And if you watch our previous primitive videos with the deformer, the gizmo, what we can do now is we can hold down control and tap on our document to mask this. We're gonna go into our gear here. We're gonna choose a ring 3D. You can of course play with these settings as needed, but this one looks pretty good to me. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and hit W to go back into regular old gizmo mode. I'm gonna to go to my subtool menu here. I'm gonna to go to split, unmask points. So what that did is split our ring into its own subtool. And now we have text that I wanna to fit to that ring. Let's go ahead and position this geometry first. So I know it's gonna deform from this top area here. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this up here and pull it out so that it's about where I want it to start from. And let's say we wanted to go halfway around this ring, starting over here and then going all the way over here. So what we can do is go back into the gear. And just like the previous deformer videos, it's gonna, I can explain to you here that the deformer is going to orient itself and place its pivot wherever your gizmo is. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there for now. We're gonna go into the gear, go back into bend arc, we're gonna take this angle here and just pull this down and, to, and hold down shift and we're gonna choose 90 degrees. You can also go in here and change this radius. So if you wanna go and shrink this in to this kind of radius or push it out to this kind of radius, you can kind of just dial in that as well. And of course, if you're trying to match something, you can go into the, here to the twist and you can just kind of just twist this this way. If you like what you see, go ahead and go either go to the gear or you can hit W and you can go ahead and reposition and scale this thing as needed. So you can just go ahead and scale this thing, move this thing around if you want to. Go back into the gear, hit accept, and now your bend deformer has been applied to your object.